Welcome back to Mind Pump TV, guys. I'm your host, Danny Matranga, and today we're gonna approach the squat. Hopefully you're stopping here before you try squatting for the first time so we can break down all the things you need to know to squat properly and effectively. Now, after we dive into the tips that I've developed over the years as a trainer, I wanna make sure you guys have something to take with you. So we've curated a squat like a pro guide that's free for you guys to download and it's linked below in the description box of the video. So go ahead and start downloading that. And while it downloads, let's talk about things you need to consider before you squat for the first time. The squat primarily is what we would call a knee extension based exercise, right? It's gonna primarily work the musculature of the knee, right? You get a lot of quad, you get some hamstring and some adductor, right? And then it's secondarily a hip extension exercise. That's the portion of the squat where you're coming up. A lot of people squeeze their glutes, right? So that's where you get some of the glutes and again, some adductor on that hip extension piece. So when you think squats, you need to be thinking knee, and hip extension based exercise. Now, you've probably seen some people squat with the bar really high on their back. We call that high bar. And you've probably seen some people squat with the bar lower on their back. We call that low bar. The difference between the two is that the high bar squat generally prioritizes more knee than hip, and the low bar squat will often balance those two out quite evenly and that's why it's generally preferred amongst power lifters, where the low bar squat will allow you to lift more weight because it has a nice balance between the knee and the hip. The high bar generally hits those knee, uh, knee musculature a little bit more and doesn't engage the hip quite as much. So with my clients, I usually recommend that they start with a high bar back squat. I think that's the most easy one to pick up. It requires less shoulder mobility often than does the low bar squat for certain people and less stability. So I think the high bar squat is the place to start. So given that the high bar back squat is probably the first place to start, we need to first talk about how deep one should squat, how much weight one should squat with. So when it comes to squat depth, there's a few things that you have to consider. One is the anatomy of the individual, and the second piece is the mobility of the individual. Generally, shorter, more mobile people will be able to squat deeper than taller and less mobile people. Now, wherever you fall on that continuum, the primary thing you should be focusing on is squatting through the fullest range of motion possible without pain while still being under control. So, just because everybody else you see at the gym squats really, really low, or perhaps they don't even squat to parallel, that doesn't mean you should emulate how they squat. Your goal should be to establish a comfortable range of motion for you to squat in and look to load that range over time while you increase things like your mobility and your control with other stuff. The main goal is the squat being a foundational movement pattern. We wanna do it, we wanna do it well, and we wanna improve it over time. Now. If that high bar back squat even is very difficult for you to approach, perhaps the 45 pound bar might even be too much weight to start, I'm a huge fan of the goblet squat. It's a fantastic way to approach squatting. It puts the weight in front of the body and it still works that same knee extension, hip extension piece, but it's often more accessible for a novice lifter. And once you get to a place where you have enough strength with the goblet squat, you should be more than able to take on a high bar barbell back squat. So guys, remember, just to wrap things up, first and foremost, the squat is a foundational exercise. It's something we want to do. It's great for the entire body. It works all of the lower body musculature, a lot of the upper body musculature, the trunk, the core, right? The second piece, when it comes to range of motion and form, your squat is going to be pretty unique to your body. Your goal should be to do the best pain-free full range of motion squat you can while you look to progress with both load and mobility over time. And if in fact the barbell is too difficult, there are plenty of regressions from traditional goblet squats to even bodyweight squats to eventually work you into being able to squat like a pro. Now, again, just before we wrap, I wanna make sure you guys, if you haven't already, please download our free squat guide. It's in the description box of this video. Wanna make sure you guys have some more actionable tips to take with you. Thanks again so much for watching Mind Pump TV and have fun squatting.